So right now we have a, uh, a vehicle that was built, imported geometry into 3DCS Multicad. We then built all of our spec studies using our measurements that were, that were set up within 3DCS Multicad. The nice thing about the plug-in, the way it works with our TT Delta Gen, is when we go to export, you'll see that all of our spec studies that were pre-built will export, and all of our views that are associated with those spec studies will export. Also, our styles that were built within 3DCS Multicad will then automatically convert to an RTT material. In the, in, in the top right, you're going to see this new icon, which is our RTT Delta Gen export. When I push this, we, we get this dialog box. What this shows is all of our spec studies that were authored in 3DCS Multicad and all of our user views. So on the left here, under spec studies, I have the option to pick all of them that I want to push over to RTT, or I could just select a couple. So we'll go ahead and select them all, pushing them over to the export. I'll do the same for all of our user views that were pre-built in 3DCS Multicad. We have our export directory, which is where the files will go that are going to be pushed to RTT, or RTT Delta Gen. You then have the option of a WRL export or an FBX export. So for this example, we did an FBX export. You would then press OK. Before you go to um, Delta Gen, absolutely. can you uh, toggle some of the actual spec studies in 3DCS? Sure. So we have the Hood Fender Max Gap. So we'll see that the, the gap between the hood and the fender just got larger over our nominal geometry, which you see here. So these are preset views and tolerance set. So it's not a random, it's actually a preset tolerance. Correct. When you edit your spec study within 3DCS Multicad, your edit spec study list comes up. Under user view is where you're going to associate a view with a specific spec study. So when we export the RTT Delta Gen, that spec study is then associated with that view. So again, we use our RTT Delta Gen export. 